Hello everyone, again this is Chris with FitNex Personal Training and Group Fitness. And today we're going to be focusing on our back. We're going to develop a workout that's going to build size, endurance, and strength. But not just those three aspects, we're going to be focusing on those functional aspects. For those of you that sit at a desk all day, if you drive a car or a truck, or if you're just standing being stagnant all day, all right, and you start developing lower back problems or upper back tension. Our workout is going to consist of pull-ups, barbell pull-overs, suspension band rows, resistance band, rear deltoid or upper back flies, and then we're going to target that lower back or that core with some lower back leg extension, leg lifts, all right? That being said, let's go ahead and get it started. All right, right here, we're gonna be focusing on our upper back, those lats, all right? Above me, I have my pull-up bar, and you see, right here, I want you to keep everything slow and under control. When you pull up, focus on pinching those shoulder blades together, keep that chest up in the air, all right? You see a lot of people, when they do pull-ups, rolling their shoulders to the front, all right? That's gonna focus mostly on the biceps. I want you to initiate this movement with the back and then focus on the arms when you're pulling up. All right, now we're transitioning to our barbell pullovers. Right now, watch that form. I want you to try to keep your body in a nice straight alignment, okay? Focus on keeping those abdominal muscles contracted and also squeeze the glute and the lower back muscles, okay? Try not to arch that back. You're gonna end up putting some strain in that lower back region. All right, now we're gonna slowly lower that bar down to the ground and pull it back up, elbows to the bench. Okay, we're focusing on those lats, and it's gonna hit those triceps a bit. Really focus on that breathing while you're working. Keep everything slow, under control, no snatching the weight, no jerky movements, and keep it up. All right, you got this, finish it up, let's go. Down, right back up. Next, we're transitioning into our suspension band rows. All right, form is really important. Anytime you do things with suspension bands, it always adds another aspect of intensity because you have to focus on that balance and that control, especially using that body weight, okay? Slow, under control. Again, just like pull-ups, we're gonna initiate that movement with the back, and then we're gonna pull the rest of the way with our arms. Focus on pinching those shoulder blades when you get to the top of the movement, and slowly lower back down to the ground. Squeeze, pump them out, up. Nice, you got this. You gotta to to learn how to push yourselves when you're working out, especially if there's no one around. But guess what, that's what I'm here for, all right? Next, we're going to our resistance band, rear delt or upper back flies. This is definitely gonna work that upper back. For a lot of people that have that classic hunchback syndrome, it's not gonna cure it, but it's gonna help you develop stronger muscles to roll your shoulders back so that you're not walking with your shoulders hunched to the front, all right? Pull back, focus on squeezing the rhombus muscles. Pinch those shoulder blades together. Focus on that breathing and keep it up. Back, nice, focus on that form. I'm always constantly telling you to focus on that form. You got this, keep it up. And finally, we're gonna transition to our leg lifts, focusing on that lower back. Ball, place it on the bench. Grab the front of the bench and we're focusing on lifting the legs. All right, this movement is gonna work the lower back, you're gonna work your glutes, which is a plus, and also you're gonna be working those hamstrings, so keep this up. At the top of the movement, squeeze those lower back muscles, squeeze those glute muscles, use those hamstrings to lift those legs and keep it up. Again, you gotta focus on your breathing, and also make sure that when you're lifting, you're not pulling yourself to the front. Let your legs, let your glutes, let your lower back control this workout, all right? You got it, keep it under control. Now pump them out, finish off strong, let's go. And there you have it. If you're looking for a way to turn your body into a fine-tuned performance machine, you can contact me at C-R-I-S at C-I-N-C-Y-F-I-T-N-E-X-T. That's Chris at CincyFitNext.com. I'll be looking forward to hearing from you soon. Let's get to work.